All right, so this video is about my tree in the daytime. There it is, right on the side of my house. There's trash cans back there because <laughs> I, I'll show you in a second. I tied it down to the gate behind there um, so I can't get my trash cans in and out. So they're kind of back there. And then I'll explain what that tub is and how I made the base and what's going on here. So there are 12 LED strips. So one, two, three, all the way around here to 12. I zip tied them. So it's a simple zip tie to this uh, kind of like vinyl strip that I purchased online at Holiday Coro. I'll show you what that is. And from bottom to top, it's 16.4 feet. So it's up there. And if you can see at the top there, it's in uh, kind of like a circle with little slits in it. Again, I'll show you on the website. Again, also from Holiday Coro. And what you do is you zip tie the LED strips here, and then you, there's a little spot to feed it up there. And then using zip ties, it secures up there. And then all I did is with some two by four, I got some of those screw eyes or kind of a, you get those little screws that go into the wood and I zip tied each LED strip there. So it holds it fairly tight. I mean, it's not ridiculous tight, but tight enough so that the wind doesn't uh, blow the strip around and you can't see the picture. And so here in the front, I put this rope. Again, it has a, it also has a screw eye here. And that's how I secured it to the top, just to kind of give it a little bit more wind support. So it's not just the LED strips taking all the tension. So I did the same thing on this side here. And then I purchased these cinder blocks just to kind of weigh it down here in the front. So I have three here. And yeah, the wood, I, <laughs> I'm just a math teacher, so I kind of put these in an angle or a configuration that I saw fit. Uh, there's really no magic formula that I used. It was just, can I keep it secure? What ended up happening is, this uh, circle is where I ended up putting the tree first, and it's really windy here where I live, and it actually blew over. As you can see there, I tried to secure it on the back, but it got uh, a little too windy, and the, one of the vinyl strips snapped. Now, we're not talking like five or 10 mile an hour winds. It was like gusts of 50 to 60, and so it lasted pretty long, but it just couldn't give up the fight, so you can see the wood split where I tried to drill in. So I just used my, uh, we have a outdoor table and chair set, and this is where the umbrella would sit, and the fence post I used to secure the tree fit perfectly. So that's why I'm using the hold down the weight. And then in addition, I have this ratchet tie down that I secured to the fence post here, and it goes to my back fence here. As you see, it's zip tied around and pretty secure. So this one is pretty, tight if you give it a pull pretty tight and again securing the tree right there so yeah this fence post is just something I purchased from Home Depot uh, it's called top rail so if you think of a chain link fence it's the rail that sits on top of all those fences and uh, so in order to get 16 feet, Home Depot in store only sells 10 and 3 quarter inch or excuse me 10 foot uh, 3 quarter inch posts. So in order to get it 16 feet, I had to buy two of them and then I cut one of them to six foot length and then they sell these little uh, sleeves that you can connect them together. <clears throat> so that's how the tree is built. That's how I secured it. That's how I weighed it down. Here inside this yellow box is all where the important electronics are. So I have a Home Depot bag here with my speaker on it. Here, let me do this. So that's just my outdoor speaker so that when people walk by, they can hear the music. But there's the controller. So all the LED strips come into this box. These are waterproof pigtail connections, three core, meaning they have power, data, and ground. 
And actually, I bought this controller from Holiday Coro, and they actually put the controller together for you, and they ship it to you with the out come from the controller, but then this part that goes to the LED strip, you'll notice that I'm not the best solderer, but I use a little, uh, I bought these solderless sleeves, which I'll show you later, and I also used uh, shrink wrap and hot glue to kind of waterproof the connection myself. So you have to do that work. But if you, there's a whole package you can buy from Holiday Coro that they'll do it all for you for like, I think like $800 or $1,000, but I knew I can try it. I want I'm adventurous. I want to try it myself. So anyway, that's how I waterproofed it there. So if we take a look inside the box, the magic box. So there it is. So that's the uh, oh, Alpha Pix 16 controller. So all 12 of my LED strips are there. And I'm only using 12, not 16, even though it's capable of 16. But the reason why I'm only using 12 is because most programmable se sequences out there that I'll show you later, all the sequences are made for 12. There's very few people that have made a 16 LED strip CCR sequence. But uh, this wasn't fairly bad. Again, Holiday Coro did a great job showing you tutorial videos about how to get this all set up and how it's good to go. Again, I'll kind of explain my journey in a little bit. But uh, power supply, 12 volt, that feeds the controller here, sends it power. And we also have that orange cable, which is our data cable. I'll show you what's feeding that. And then all the LED strips plug around it. And that's what starts the show. And again, I you really don't have to have this like larger box surrounding that box because the cable guard box by itself could be uh, secured properly. I've seen people actually secure it to the pole here, uh, but the way I decided to do it is that I wanted to make sure I had plenty of room to work with with my uh, pigtails here. So I thought putting it closer would be nice. And of course my wife would say, come on, it's Christmas. You should wrap this up and make it look like a Christmas present. I was too excited to get this tree up, so maybe next year. But, so that's the controller. All right, so that's the tree. We'll take one more big wide shot here. And in other videos, you can check out the computer and the wireless setup that I have, and then we'll also check out how I sequenced it and how we put it all together. But this is the actual tree. <laughs>